Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius and LandandAirPhotos.com. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the quick shots in the Mavic Mini and show you how you get into them through the app, how you get them going, and how they work. This episode is part of a series of tutorials I'm doing on the DJI Mavic Mini. A link to the playlist is in the upper right corner of the screen. If you plan to buy a Mavic Mini, follow the link in the description below and order direct from DJI. Now, on to this tutorial. Okay, I'm going to do a quick run through on the, uh, the, the four quick shots that are programmed with the Mavic Mini. I just sat here and practiced them all, so I'm comfortable with doing them. I don't normally use these kind of quick shots, these intelligent flight modes, but uh, I probably should because they're pretty slick and they, they do some pretty cool things. First one is what they call a droney. I'm going to pull this a little closer for, for a starting point. Basically, it just flies back and up on a diagonal while keeping the camera pointed at whatever you choose. So it's like a selfie shot in the sky. And to do it, before we start this, I, would, I want to say on these quick shots, because you're kind of moving around and everything and you're not controlling anything while it's happening, it's a good idea to choose your auto exposure lock. And I have mine on right now. Make sure that this auto exposure lock in the corner is, is selected. Now it's on. Make sure that's on so your exposure won't change as the camera changes directions, okay? So, to, to access your quick shots, click on the box above the red uh, video button and choose quick shots. And we have four to choose from. I'm going to choose the first one, which is Droney. As I said, it basically just flies back and up. Click on this. To do this, all I have to do is click on this little plus sign and draw a box around myself. Box is drawn. And all I have to do then is hit start. Three, two, one. Now you can see it automatically started the camera. I believe it's, it shoots only at 1080p. Unfortunately, you can't control that. Uh, but it starts the camera, does the flight, gets to the end point, and stops the camera automatically for you. And then when it's done, the drone comes back. And here it comes. All right. Now, if I hit... If, 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 one thing I forgot to mention here, if you move along the side, I can choose 80 feet, 100 feet, or 100, 120 feet. For how far I want it to go. You don't, can't control it a lot, but you do have that measure of control with it. I put it back on 80. Okay, so that's, that's droning. Next one's uh, rocket. This basically goes straight up and a little forward while the camera stays on you. So basically it's just flying up and right over your head. Typically a bald guy like me won't do that, but uh, it may be a shot that you want, so we'll go ahead and demonstrate it. Again, I could have chosen 80, 100, or 120 feet. Tap on myself. And draw a box around me so it has something to center on. It's Three, two, one. And away it goes. It should go up about 80 feet. Can't notice how the camera is tilting down as the drone goes up. It moves a little bit forward, so it's really right over my head as it goes up. When it gets done, it'll stop recording. Quick shot complete. And now it's shut off the camera and it's bringing the drone back down. Again, I don't see a whole lot of use for that, <coughs> but it's there. And now you know how to use it. All right, let's go on to the third one. Now, these, the next two are, are, are more useful to me. Uh, first one is circle. What it will do is draw a circle around the point that I select. Now, it's not going to circle around the object I select. So, if I pick me, if I draw a box around me and have it circle, yeah, it's going to draw a circle around me. But if I draw a building, <laughs> a box on a building, it's not going to draw a circle all the way around that whole building. It's just going to go around the point where you selected on that building. So keep that in mind 
uh, because if you're close to the building and you draw a circle, it's going to fly right into the side of the building because it's not going to go all the way around. So keep that in mind when you use this one and the next one, the helix. But anyway, for the circle, uh, you don't, you click on circle and notice that I'm not choosing my, my uh, distance at this point. Uh, I'm going to set that when I choose my, when I position the drone to start and when I, on the uh, object that I pick. Now you notice I've got arrows here on screen. I can go to the left or I can go to the right. So I can change which direction the, the circle will go. All right, let's put my gimbal up a little bit. Click on the icon, got a box around me, and start. Three, two, one. One thing when you start these, you got to make sure, because this aircraft's going to fly a complete circle around me, so you got to make sure that nothing in that circular flight path is going to get in the way, because there is no obstacle avoidance on this aircraft. There's nothing to keep it from flying, so it'll go right into it if you don't. But you can see it does a really nice job of flying that circle. Click on this icon here again, and I've got one more to show you, and that is the helix. This one's cool, because this is a circle, it flies around you in a circle, but it also flies back and up a little bit. So it's drawn almost like a tornado pattern around you. I've chosen that one. Uh, I can, again, let's try to change the direction this time. Tap on me. Draw a box. Out here, I can't see that box, but I, I, I'm guessing there's a box around me. And anyway, that's all I have to do. I'm going to hit start. Three, two, one. Now it's going this way, but again, you got to make sure there's nothing in that flight path that it's going to collide with. See, it's definitely flying backwards as it goes high. So you really got to be careful with this one. This is probably the most dangerous shot you can do. And it finishes the, draw, uh, the uh, uh, helix and then flies back down to its spot. Let's do one more helix just for fun. Start a little closer. Tap on me, draw the box, and start. Three, two, one. Automated flights like this are a little uncomfortable for me because I'm used to being in control of the aircraft, you know. You take responsibility for flying the drone, you want to control it. But these things are so well programmed and so well designed now, as long as you pay attention to what you're doing, they're extremely safe to do and they allow you to get shots where you're not having to be doing this in the middle of the shot. You can hold the controller down or even set it down if you wanted to and uh, it wouldn't be in the picture. I don't know how much of that last bit recorded because I held down the cell phone which is recording my audio, but we'll see. Anyway, that's a walkthrough on the quick shots. Uh, they're very cool. Try using them, practice them again. Look at the area I chose here. Uh, I, I chose a big open park to make sure that there's nothing for me to glide in. Glide in. Uh, Mavic Mini, as you know, has no obstacle avoidance. Uh, and not even controlling the aircraft anyway. So uh, make sure that you take responsibility for where you fly and, and which quick shot you use when you do it and uh, give it a try and then you're going to have some fun with it. Maybe get some new shots you weren't able to get before. On screen right now I've got uh, a link to 
a playlist with tutorials and reviews on the Mavic Mini, so be sure to check those out. Hey, but before you go, click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Go down and hit a thumbs up, and uh, be sure to let me know uh, what you think of the video in the comments, and I look, to, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.